<laughs> Welcome to CBS This Morning Saturday. I'm Anthony Mason. And I'm Rebecca Jarvis. Good morning. There, there are a few times in our lives when we get to witness amazing acts of kindness. Our next story is one of those. A bus driver in Winnipeg, Canada brought his passengers to tears when he stopped his bus to give a barefoot homeless man the shoes off his feet. Winnipeg Transit bus driver Chris Doubledee was doing his job Tuesday, just like he's done every day for the past four years. But for the 38-year-old who was born in Boston and raised in New Brunswick, Canada, this day was going to turn out differently. Suddenly, the bus driver yelled, hey, buddy, and he got off the bus and went up to a man. That's when Doubledee took off his shoes and handed them to the homeless man who had been walking barefoot. One of the ladies that was in, sitting in front of me got up and asked him, like, or said to him, that was like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. So moved by what she had seen, Denise Campbell wrote about it on a community news blog. From there, it went viral. And the story of the bus driver, who literally gave a stranger the shoes off his feet, has people everywhere talking and speechless. The Winnipeg homeless shelter heard about the story and has been looking for the man who received the shoes, so far without luck. I think the good news about this story is that there was somebody in need, and whether they were down on their luck or they were homeless or whatever, somebody took the opportunity to make a difference in that person's life. Chris Double D and Sam Katz, mayor of Winnipeg, Winnipeg, are with us. Welcome to you both. Thank you so much for coming down and being here this morning. Chris, let me start with you. What about this man made you stop your bus? Well, I seen him uh, the day before, and uh, there's nothing I can do uh, at that time. And usually, when I get up in the morning, I, I got a few rituals. One was uh, to, if I see somebody in need or or with a disability, I ask the Lord in my inner monologue to help them out, help them along. And and the second day I seen him, I had uh, there was something I could do at that time. I was pulling up to a set of lights. It was red downtown uh, Portage, Maine, and I uh, seen the gentleman walking across the uh, the street mm -hmm. in his in his bare feet, and uh, you could tell, you know, being two days that uh, he was sore. So I just put up my four ways and. Uh, Pulled the bus over and just asked the guy, I said, where's your shoes? And he said, uh, I don't have any. I said, well, if I give you a pair of shoes, will you keep them? And he said, yeah, so I just give them mine. And then you get back on the bus, but all the people are watching you yeah. with tears in their eyes. I didn't I didn't know uh, that because I was just, I wanted to finish up my route and, and get back to get back to transit and uh, un, unnoticed, hopefully. And, mm -hmm. You weren't looking for attention for doing this? Oh, no, no, not at all, no. Not, not at all. Mayor, you heard about this. You wrote him a letter. What did you say? Well, I think you have to appreciate the, uh, that's an act of compassion that probably raises the bar to a brand new standard. And, uh, it, you know, it should make us all, you know, think about what others are going through and trying to give someone a hand up. But, you know, Winnipeggers are known for their compassion. We're statistically the highest in volunteering and giving. But what Chris did is absolutely phenomenal. It's amazing. And everybody's talking. Everybody's thinking about how they can do more for others as well. So he's a hero in my eyes. I'm proud to be his mayor. And in ours. What else in your community, Mayor, are you seeing as an outcome of this? Are people lining up to do other acts of kindness? Well, everybody is talking about it, and I think psychologically everybody's realizing, you know what, if this is what Chris did, okay, maybe we can all do more. And the realities are we can always do more, but I think Chris has been a true inspiration to all Winnipeggers, no question about it, and many, many more because of you who are basically telling his story, and it was done just on the spur of the moment. Chris, have you tried to find this man subsequently? I haven't I haven't had time, but I, I, uh, I haven't seen him since, you know, so I just haven't seen the guy. Like, there's a thousand of us that work at Transit, and each one of those guys would have done the same thing. You know? right. what so is we, sorry, so we don't want to know where he is at this point? This uh, point. No, I, I have no idea. I haven't seen him. Okay. What, is, what is your hope for him now? Well, I hope he gets, you know, ten, you know, the attention that, you know, that I'm getting maybe directed in his way, so it, maybe he, it can make his life a little easier. All right. Chris Double D and Mayor Sam Katz, thank you so thank much you. both thank for you. being with us this morning. It's a great story. Honored to have both of you with us. Uh, now we want to turn to...